Is 5G a battery killer? Just the other day, Verizon support tweeted, then deleted, one way to help conserve battery life is to turn on LTE. So, does 5G suck the life out of your battery? For Verizon and AT&T customers, the short answer is yes, because at the moment, they only use 5G for data, so your phone is constantly hopping between 4G and 5G connections, which is a battery killer. You add in the fact that the promised 5G experience uses a lot more bandwidth, and you've got a good argument for defaulting your phone to LTE, unless you're doing something that would truly benefit from the high speed and low latency of 5G. But what would that be? You can't make a faster phone call. You can't stream any faster. You can't text any faster. Maybe you can browse the web a little faster, but is that worth the battery life? Well, if you've got a good consumer 5G use case, leave a comment. I want to know.